What's going on, viewers from the internet? I'm Variety Gamer 95 back for some more Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. Okay, so last time we ended up getting shipwrecked and washed ashore on Keelhole Key. After a lot of troubles, we rescued Admiral Bobbery, who joined our party. We also have Flavio here coming along with us to investigate a skull ship rock that we saw. So this time we are going to go back and hopefully avoid this enemy. No, no. Oh, uh, oh! Uh, this time we're gonna go back and uh, we're gonna go back to the skull ship rock. Um, that crew shell actually went back inside the item box. I gotta be honest, I didn't think I was gonna do that. There we go. All right, it wouldn't hurt to get into a couple more fights just to level up, you know. I gotta stop saying, you know. Also. I don't remember if the Flower Fuzzy is capable of cloning itself. But I'm not sure if I really want to find that out. I also don't want that thing sapping my FP. But let's just do Bomb. Oh, 4 damage. Yeah, Bomb is pretty powerful right out of the gate. Ooh, this is nice. I wish the spell was not coming up so frequently, though. Hey, come on, man. Come on during a boss or a mini boss. Yeah, actually, it might not have done anything. So, I said before, Bobbery comes, comes with this pretty powerful right out of the gate. Like, he does 4 damage already? Like, wow, that's something. It can only get stronger, too. But, unfortunately, you're not able to uh, upgrade Bobbery until after uh, Chapter 5 is over. And this is actually the reason why I recommend Heavy 6 Shine Sprites by the end of the chapter. That way you can just up it's a coin of course. That way you can just upgrade him twice straight away. I can't believe he didn't get me. Wow, okay. That was something. Oh god, a green fuzzy. Not that not that that's really that much better than the pink one, honestly. Fall fuzzy, whatever it's called. There you go. <laughs> I actually thought I was doing power jump for a second there. Boom! There we go. Well, unfortunately, this bingo wouldn't do me any good. Which is why I got it anyway! <laughs> Alright. Why is it that the one time I actually get the bingo... Oh, there we go! See? I equipped Happy Heart, and Mario's HP was restored. I believe it would restore 2 HP, but he only took 1. Well, I finally get to show off that off. I got Happy Heart like how long ago? And I yet to show off what it's capable of? So, yeah, I didn't actually realize this in the last video, but... Um, so in the first Paper Mario, there was Ice Power and there was also Fire Shield. So Ice Power is just the one badge and it inherited the effects of Fire Shield as well. Let's see, and I would like to show off Fire Jeff. Was it BP? 21, huh? I would like to show off Fire Drive, it's just... I want to have Quick Change equipped. Oh yeah, and I want to show this off anyway. <laughs> it's just so funny. So, alright, finally I can see what's in this. Bam! Hey, a Thunder Rage! I'll definitely take that. Because last I checked, Fire Enemies are now immune to Thunder. Even though uh, you think they would be. Considering that... Okay, good. I got word for a second there. You think Fire Enemies would be immune to the Thunder Rage, considering, uh... Oh my god. Considering, uh... I'm thinking two thoughts at once here. Lightning emits heat, or Thunder emits heat. One of the two. See, here's the deal. I am four on items. Uh... And I want to keep the Thunder Rage. I want to grab a coconut here. Just uh, while I have the opportunity. Uh, I hate to do this, but I'm going to get rid of the Gradual Syrup. Basically, it's Happy Flower in the form of an item. That's all it is, really. I want to grab a coconut right now. Because we will be able to cook with it once we uh, make it back to shore. We could actually make a few different things with that thing. I would also like to show off some more of the troubles that get us more of the Pianta Parlor cards. 
as well as more of the recipes. But I went with only what we discovered for the sake of the uh, Let's Play. Alright, so we're back where we were. There's a heart block, but there doesn't seem to be a save block. See, here's here's the skull shit rock. Ha! Ah, now what is all this? A dead end taunting Flavio with its dead endness. But hmm, is this? I think this is the skull rock Bob blabbered about. Well, it positively reeks of ancient secrets. Yes, let us plunge into this puzzle. Well, let's examine it. A large stone blocks the way. Seems to be carved to the shape of a skull. There is a space in one of the aisles where you could conceivably place something. Mario, old boy, I've got a, I have a gut feeling that Flavio's gem might fit in that eye hole. What do you have to say, sir? Skull Captain casts his gaze. Red Joe shines and plays. Boom, bust a boom festival. The Stash Brothers, best of friends. Three times Red Stash lands on his end. Blue Stash's belly four times is whacked. So let's do this fireworks go boom. At the boom, bust a boom festival. I'm just saying it too, too while away the time. It is not a Fabio scared or anything. But do you know something? I've never been able to know that song's meaning. So, red three times, four, blue four times. What is it you're asking me? Well, Fabio, you have to lend you something. Is this correct? Now, what can I possibly have that you would need with such anxiousness? How about some more Chocola Cola? What? What would we give you the Chocola Cola? Ha! I will scoff at you! You ask too much, little man. Except, wait! I already gave that to you, you rat! How about some coins, good sir? What? You want me to lend you coins, you poor pauper? I'm gonna scoff at you! What on earth do you need coins on for? What on earth do you need coins for in deserted island anyway? Hmm? Think before you speak, you foolish thing. Think! How about your skull gem? What? You want me to lend you the skull gem? You really, really need it. This is the heirloom of the house of Flavio, you know. But I suppose it is all right because I am Flavio. He is of such ludicrous wealth. I'm just lending it, though. Do not dare run off with it. Don't make me dog pay. A skull gem, the pride of Flavio's family. Can it be sent to Skull Rock? All right. So let's place it here. Now these lit up. Remember the song? Once, twice. Thrice. One, two, three, four. Well, that bomb icon ain't there for show. So remember when I said that Mario uh, tosses Bobbery above him? He also pressed X to end it early. There we go. Oh, such excitement! The cave entrance! Hmm? Huh? What? Ah! My skull gem! M -m mario What were you thinking? That gem was part of the house of Flavio! Don't worry, it's fine. Whew! Oh, what a happy day! I have my skull gem back! My jolliness has no end! Now then, I'm sure you're all disappointed, but Flavio must be heading back now! I can't let those back. I can't worry about me further. You two understand, yes? So, let me know where to find that glittery treasure, alright? Ah, uh, yeah, sure. Leave us to do all the work. Alright. Here we are, guys. Month Star Day Circle Music Note. Scuffing at danger, but brave explorers enter the cave. Will they actually find the Pirate Cake's treasure? I tremble with anticipation. The Pirate's Grotto. Ah, there's a save block. Let's go ahead and save the game. And let's explore this cave, shall we? Ooh, this is interesting. Huh. You don't sound that frightening, good sir. Alright, so... Remember... When Goombella said that you can use explosions on fire? Boom! He can first strike with Bobbery. But you don't get the action command. Check this out. Boom! See? Does extra damage to it as well. Thank God for ice power, am I right? Otherwise, I'd have to use hammer throw. So, um... I actually have a bit of a story about these uh, fire-based enemies here. <laughs> it's kind of funny. 
because uh, it, this didn't happen to me. It, it happened because of me. So, when I was younger, my younger sibling uh, actually really liked watching me play Paper Mario. And there was actually a point where... There was actually a point where I actually watched them play the game themselves. I'm just going to say iBig. Alright? Gotcha! Can't believe it worked. So, I was watching iBig play this chapter against... I believe it was this group of uh, lava bubbles. As a matter of fact, here, let's just do this. And I actually ended up giving Ibe false information <laughs> because I told them that you can actually use Vivian's Fiery Jinx on Lava Bubbles. And it turns out <laughs> I was thinking of Bobbery's explosion. That is what's effective against the Lava Bubbles. So, as you might expect, the Lava Bubble, when Ibig used Fiery Jeeks, healed itself. And not only that, it multiplied upon being healed. <laughs> oh, I felt so bad because I gave them the wrong information. <laughs> it was all my fault, and I only realized it until... <laughs> I didn't realize it until after Ibig uh, followed my... Rand advice and use fiery jinx. <laughs> oh boy. Of course, they don't look back on that too fondly. Let's see. I have another story of iBig playing this game too, but it's not going to come up till later. I don't want to chance it. Alright, there we go. It's a good thing Vivian came along with us, huh? Oh, I remember this. Hold on. Actually, I want Goombella. So, um, there, there are going to be some bullet bells and bill blasters up ahead. Well, I showed off happy hearts, so I guess I no longer need it. Head rattle, damage dodge. Damage dodge could be a nice filler badge. Hammer throw. Damage dodge partner. Oh, hold on, I have an idea. So, I'm going to go ahead and equip soft stomp here. Bam! Here are the bullet bells. These guys are classic foes. We've seen them forever. And yeah, of course they'll get experience. It'll give experience. Bullet bell. Got it. That's a bullet bell. It attacks after being shot from a bill blaster. Nice HP is two, attack is four, defense is one. Take care of it quickly or it'll totally wail into you. Mosh pit style. Use those action commands to take it out. So it still has 2 HP for attack, but it gained a point of defense. Their lack of defense in the last game was justified, considering that you don't have any uh, attack upgrades at that point. It sucks that they don't, they don't really give us anything, though. Nah. Oh, they really don't give us anything. My god. Um, unfortunately, they have a defense of 1, so it might be best to use Vivian's Veil to hide, hide somewhere underneath the bridge, like, let's see, you'll guys see in a moment. Watch, so we can actually hide underneath this bridge, see, just like that. Now, as to why I chose to, I need Gubella. As to why I chose to equip Soft Stomp, these Bill Blasters have some pretty high defense. Blam! So, for the looks of things, they have a defense of two. So, let's tell the Bill Blaster. Got it. That's a Bill Blaster. It's the cannon that shoots bullet bells. Max HP is 5 and defense is 2. It doesn't attack directly but shoots bullet bells at you. I know the bullet bells are annoying, but take out the bill blaster first, trust me. Defense is 2, huh? Arg! How many of those things will shoot at us? You're so annoying! So I want a soft stomp to do this. Check this out. There we go. It didn't do any damage, but it still lowered its defense. So now the Gumbella can actually help take care of this thing. See? No problem. 
There we go. Oh god! Man, they come at you fast. What is that? A rock. You don't need any of that good, sir. So, what do I want to do? Let's do the normal hammer. I'm lucky that I shot the bullet bill up top. I'm gonna go to Koops. Because he'll be able to take it out with one damage. There we go. So now both of the Billbusters are gone. Ah, I knew it! I knew those guys could target the character in the back! So they're both gone. No, they're not bob balls or piranha plants. <sighs> Is there another one of those? Or No, it's my imagination. Okay. Admittedly, my memory is not the best, because it has been a while since I last played through this game, you know, all the way through. Okay, so here is a bulky bob -omb. So this is one of the reasons why I wanted Miss Mouse. Gotcha! And there's usually two of these guys in a group. Blam! So here is why I wanted Miss Mouse. So, attacks the enemy with a side of Pierce's defense. If you control the left to right, right, left to right as fast you can. Yeah, but, I mean, it's pretty weak, no? Boom! Oh, wow, it did 7 damage. Star power, okay. Not that it really would have mattered that much. Alright, so I'm gonna do left slap again. Oh, yeah, the slash command. Just press A as she's walking back. Actually, you know something? Yes! A level up! Okay, so here's the question now. What stat do I want to increase? I do believe I'll increase HP. Alright, there we go. So that's just one scenario in which Miss Mouse could be useful because I don't want Bobbery to explode on the bulky bomb because I believe I'll set it off immediately all right so that is an ember I have ice power okay so um you know regarding what I said earlier about fire enemies healing for fire attacks uh, be careful if you choose to use head rattle be careful who you're confusing because a confused enemy, a confused character has a chance of attacking their ally. And if a an ember attacks another ember, for example, it will just heal its friend. Shrink stomp. Okay, so I equipped soft stomp. I don't think I'm going to need soft stomp going forward. I guess I can equip the second damage dodge, just as a filler badge. It's not going to be helpful against these guys, but it's helpful against other enemy types. Okay. Alright, so let's do the super hammer. Blam! Now, unfortunately, I don't believe that's going to finish it off. I think it's going to do like 5 damage. Yeah, 5. I was running the money. Ooh! Wait, is this actually going to work, though? Because fire attacks are piercing in this game. Oh, it did work! Nice! Alright, normal hammer. Oh, that also did 5 damage. Wow. Yeah, so you can really see how this game's anti-grinding really takes a heavy toll on you. Anyway, here is a Buzzy Beetle. So... Hold on, I want to get rid of that guy. Just so I can get that without a problem. Gotcha, sir! That should be a spin jump. No, it wasn't! Okay. I thought that was going to be a spin jump. Alright, let's power jump you. Woo! Bam! <laughs> oh, that's great. Okay, at least flip over the last guy. There we go. Yeah. 
So, I don't remember if we come across the normal Buzzy Beetles in this cave. Uh, we just saw the Parabuzzy right here. Because I want to get rid of that guy because... Um, so there's actually two ways to get the Shine Sprite. The way that I always did it... Was we using Coops. There we go, see? Or is that the only way to get it? Oh, right. I always did it by using coops. But, you know, you could just, uh... Or at least you could try to hit it. I don't know. So, what we want to do now is hit, have Bobbery hit the switch. I can't believe he didn't actually fall off the ledge. Wow. Now... Oh, let's see. Oh, hold on. Okay, yeah. You can actually have Mario hold Bobbery as well. Let's see, not that it really does him any good. I guess you just want to sneak attack at enemies. Uh, the reason I wanted to try that was because I thought that was exclusive to the Japanese version of the game. Because you get through some serious sequence break in, in the Japanese version. Not just with Barbary, you get, get the, the, uh, the next hammer upgrade early. Okay. Oh, crap. That's what that fish looks like. Okay, I believe we actually do want to use coops for this. Yes, we want to use coops. Hold the shell in place. Flip this red switch, and go grab this key. A grotto key, a key that opens the door inside the cave. And I do believe that you have used coops for that, because like Bob is just gonna walk into the water, you know. I gotta stop saying that. Okay, so we need to find a place to use that key. Ah, here's the place to use the key. If I can actually uh, open the door. Hello! Alright, let's use it. Now we can move on. I'm going to go ahead and save. There we go. That is a lot of parabuzzies. Wow. Oh, doesn't that look like a barrel full of fun? Okay. Let's use Coops to grab this Shine Sprite. I said let's use Coops to grab this Shine Sprite. Now, I believe for that, we actually want to use Paper Mode. Uh, Tube Mode, excuse me. See? Oh, yeah, that's what I was looking out for. The ones at the bottom. So, don't, don't hop. Or else you're going to be sent back to the start of the room. Okay. Now, aha! Oh, oh, oh! So here is another shot spray. Wow, so I can actually upgrade. I have ten! Wow! I thought I had nine. Once, twice, thrice. Ah, oh, crap. It's gonna send me all the way back, ain't it? It sure is! Ugh. And it's slightly above, too. What?! Come on, man! Are you serious? Yeah, you can't just do this because you won't clear it. There we go. Finally, throws has a charm, huh? Oh, you are really persistent, good sir. Gotcha. It's about time we can first struggle the bob on buddy. Am I right? Boom! That's high damage automatically, too. That's nice. Let's get rid of the one with more health, then. There we go. Boom! Nice. Let's see. I want to say that the Lava Bubbles are the stronger variant. No, Normal Hammer. Or, no, Ember's the stronger variant, because they have more HP. No. 
And we still didn't get three poison mushrooms. Oh yeah, but there's still that- Oh, real nice game! Gotcha! Ha <laughs> ha! This time I got your number, sir! Oh goody, that one has a super shroom. We are not gonna let you do that, sir. Of course I said that, and then I thought I was gonna miss the action command. Uh, well, that kinda sucks. Let's get at least some damage on the Ember. There we go. Okay, wow, damage dodge really came in handy. Which, wait, I noticed that when Mario didn't take any damage back there. Because, uh, piercing attacks go through damage dodge. Oh, hello. Oh, God. No, I can't take it. I I don't want to risk it uh, falling into the water. So, I believe it's Bobbery? Oh, yeah. I, thought it was, I actually thought it was going to be Flurry for a second there. Oh, okay! I didn't think there was going to be another set of Bill Blasters. I'd rather do the hammer, because I can screw up the jump. And using Bobbery is like Mario's hammer. Uh, he can only target the enemy in the front. You know, I was wondering why that room was eerily empty. Ay ay ay. Oh goody, there's even a second set! Blam! There we go. Um, I think it's only going to do 4 damage to it, though. Oh! That's weird. So in the first Paper Mario, you can actually target the Bill Blaster in the back with the hammer. But it doesn't look like that's the case in this game. Well, that kind of sucks. I mean, I could use a Thunder Rage to end the fight. I don't think I want to do that, though. <sighs> they have a defensive 2, yes? Yes! No! What? Man, that sucks. I wanted to power smash the second one. Yeah, Bobby was dealing 5 damage, no? Wait, why do you need 2? Oh, you son of a... Power jump your ass, then! Boom! Let's see, oh... Hey, speaking of this fog, uh, so there's actually another attack that can remove this fog. Robbery's bomb. Boom. See? The fog is gone. Ugh. There we go. See? That's the power of damage dodge. It can effectively increase Mario's defense by a lot. What? Oh, what? Oh, come on, man. I, I was below that. That shouldn't have counted. Uh, I wasted all that FP, too! Uh, they have a defensive one. Koops should be able to take care of them, no? Okay, good. Okay, come on, man. That's a load of crap. That shouldn't have counted. I was below that thing. All right, let's see here. Uh, Miss Mouse is just too weak, and I don't think the Yoshi Kid can actually. Uh... All right, so here's what I'm gonna do here. I'm actually gonna go ahead and de-equip. I'll de-equip. No, I'll de-equip Ice Power for now. I'm gonna go and equip Charge Partner. So I, I, I want to show you guys something pretty cool here. Blam! Okay, let's see. Well, I do have an excuse to use Power Smash. This should take it out if I can get it. There we go. So, 
The music charge takes a 1 FP. Save a strength to power up your next attack. There we go. Plus 2 power. So I'm going to go ahead and defeat the bullet bill here. And I'll have the Yoshi Kid here charge up again. Right, so have Mario defeat the bullet bill again. Yes, this can actually stack by the way. Have the Yoshi Kid charge a third time. And have Mario take care of this bullet bill. Now, Ground Pound can actually stack really nicely with charging. Check this out. There we go. See? It wasn't a good demonstration, but that's how good Ground Pound can be if you could just charge its pop charge its attack power. Oh my god, this spell just won't stop coming. It's gonna run now sooner sooner rather than later. See, that's a lot of coins, and I don't want to miss out on them. See, a bulky bob bomb. Ugh. I don't think I have much of a choice. That's way too big for the Yoshi Kid to swallow. Gotcha. Oh, God, there's a row for them. So, in this situation, this is where Art Attack can come in handy. Or attack a power lift. I said this before in Pit of Wonder Trials. Yeah, don't be afraid to use your special moves. Especially since in this game, you can e very easily renew it. Especially if you know the stylish commands. That count is a wonderful. Wow, okay. There we go, see? Alright, that's another flower. Not that that's really going to help me that much. Alright, we could just hop that. Well, I sure hope we can turn to our paper boat pretty soon, or else we ain't getting out of here. Now, oh, this looks ominous. Uh, there's a badge back there. P down D up. Drop the damage Mario deals and receives by one. P down D up is the exception to piercing attacks. See, P down D up will also impact those. Here's the fourth chest, guys. You are welcome. Oh, sweet, sweet salvation. I thought no one would ever come. I'd given up. What's that? Spurring the prologue which just curse you already? Now, how'd you know I was going to do that? No, seriously, hold on a second. Can't you just let somebody spill for a little bit? I've been locked here forever, bored stiff, doing nothing but practice the speech. Huh? I'm already in the fourth person chest you met? Are you serious? So, you're saying you know exactly how this is all going to turn out. Man, talk about a raw deal. You're a twisted little guy, you know that? I was gonna say, you know what? Okay, fine, 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 fine. I get the picture, okay? Sheesh! All I wanted was to see the face of someone like you saw when I popped out. Is that so much to ask? No. Anyway, what are we waiting for? Just open it already. You don't want the key looks like Mr. Sin already? Some ghost here has it. So just beat him, get it, and we'll get this farce over with. Come on now, I'm waiting. There's the ghost. Gotcha! Oh, I can't believe that worked! Wait! to equip ice power again because I wanted to show off the Yoshi Kids ground pound stats okay how about I try that again <laughs> <laughs> the exact same setup, no less. <laughs> oh my god, Joseph! 
<laughs> How could you forget that? You know, <laughs> the funny thing is, I was even thinking that too, because I knew I was going to forget to re-equip Ice Power. And sure enough, that's exactly what happened. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I bet you guys gonna kick <laughs> I bet you guys gonna kick out of that! <laughs> Alright, we <laughs> defeated the ghost. Here it is. Yeah yeah, whoop de doo. You got the key. Prayer to time. Now let me know already. Alright, here we go. Since you're just itching to get this over with. <sighs> Man, this is the fourth bit of hell that we've unleashed! You dumped so right into an absolutely brilliant trap! And now you will suffer! Oh yeah, I'm so evil! Bathed in the fire of awful... Wait, what was that? Oh yeah, you forced me curse forever for your appalling stupidity! You will rue the day you open this chest to doom! Now, you wretched guy! But, e, k, er, er, stop! <laughs> now you're cursed for good! Suffer! 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 Wait, that's maybe too much. You were right. That didn't really hurt, did it? <laughs> good! Square the suffering with socially awkward words! For now, why to certain places, if you press Y, you'll turn to a paper bowl! Isn't that just gruesome? Just try it out so I can see the depth of your humiliation! Feel the terror of your fate! When you set up one of these bolt panels, the panel will throw a curse and blow. Yes, stand here, slab. Feel the pain. And press Y. Become a paper bowl. <laughs> oh, yes. Such suffering. Do you feel the horror? Now you're a pivot little bow. <laughs> you fall in the water. People will laugh at you. You'll be spit upon. But it works in certain places, so don't worry, it's not too bad. When you want to return to normal, approach the panel and press Y. Now, try it, one. Yes! The pain is like a tasty favorite to me! Now do you understand your doom? Run that by me again. Yeah, I get it. They don't want to you Jenny cursed folk guy! Oh, and hey, listen. Thanks for letting me do my thing. I feel better. Ah, well, I say, that curse trap seems rather a bit of alright, eh? Whoa, well, it looks like we can transform to a paper boat, which means we can actually get out of here. All right, here we go. This is our final ability, guys. So once we return to Rogueport, we'll be able to explore the rest of it. The rest of Rogueport opens up upon getting this paper boat curse. All right, so now we got to go back the way we came, and I do believe that is a good place to call it quits. So just give me a second to double back. Um, how much? further is this so you can already see here we can explore a lot more of the cave just a lot more of the cave alone pirates grotto oh yeah and look at these waves too they look like they're gonna be a barrel full of fun to deal with oh actually we weren't that far okay great so with that I do believe this is a good place to call it quits so next time we Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door, let's see what we could do with our new boat mode, huh? See you then.